For your sake, this God will fight for you. The native doctors in my village said I, I had destroyed that juju. And they raised money to buy a gun and bullet to kill me, which was okay by me. I said to my driver, park the car where they don't kill the wrong person. My driver said, oh God, did the craze. Why only a stick will hear somebody is coming to cut it down and the stick will not run. Let's go back to your head. Shut up your mouth. A man that runs away from the war front will run forever. He will never be anybody. Men who are not afraid to die will not die. <sighs> Read on. And it came to pass that night that night that the angel of the Lord went out the angel what how many angels say something now one angel and smote in the camp of the Assyrians and hundred four score and five thousand one hundred four score and five thousand that's how many people four hundred and eighty five in one night one angel that's why when people threaten me, I laugh. If they know the power that one angel carries, they will not threaten me. My friend, you are not an ordinary person. Every attempt of the enemy to make you look like Bumu must be rejected. 
riddles. And they, when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. Father, tonight, don't let anybody here forget what you can do for him to protect him, to fight for him. Father, don't let us forget. May we know, may we always remember that angel, one angel can kill so many people. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 12, verse 7 through 9. Acts 12 from 7. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter and on the And a light shone where? In the prison. In the prison. Yes. And he smote Peter on the side raised him up saying arise up quickly arise up Peter and quickly he, and his chains fell off from his hands what fell off? chain can we all say chain the angel said did anybody him. break that chain <laughs> awesome God an angel can make a chain to break into pieces without touching the chain. That's the God God has given you. Stop acting like Mumu. When your native doctor uncle threatens you, just tell him, oh God, you have not seen what trouble looks like until I come. When the big man of my family said, oh man, you are a rat. I said, oh God, you know, you have never seen this rat before. This rat, you have never seen this rat before. When I rise up from my lying position, you will be on fire. You regret insulting me. He shouted, look at this small boy. Oh God, this small boy, not be real small boy. You. This one, a troublemaker. I know how to handle prophets. You die seven times without dying. And when you die finally, you will not rise up again. Be careful what you say to me. Raise your hand and say, Father, don't let me forget who I am. And the angel that you have sent to surround me, make me one that is more than a conqueror. In every battle of life, I shall be more than a conqueror. Read on, sir. And the angel said unto him, Get, thy, get thyself and bind on thy sandals. Wear so thy sandals. And so he did. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second world, they came unto the iron gates that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. Open of his own accord. Nobody opened that gate. This is God introducing you to your enemies. No, you didn't hear me. In your hour of need, this God shall introduce you to your enemies. Amana. Eyenabase amana paye. Amana, ye na basi amana so so mo. Oh amana, amana mo. Ye na basi amana, amana mo. So so mo, amana, amana mo. Ye na basi amana mo, so so. Oh 
Second Kings, we have taken that verse nine, chapter nineteen, verse thirty-four through thirty-five. Yes, sir. I don't know whether you know whatever you put these angels will follow you, and they can fight more than any man can try. For I will defend this city. I will defend this city for to, your sake. To save it. To save it. For my own sake. For my own sake. And for my servant David's sake. And for my servant David's sake. 35. And it came to pass that night 
That night the war started. The angel of the Lord went out. The angel of the Lord went out. And smote in the camp of the Assyrians. And smote in the camp of the Assyrians. And hundred four score and five thousand. A hundred four score and five thousand. And when they arose, thousands. when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. I'm going to ask you not to forget that an angel has been sent to protect you and to fight for you. And beginning tonight, promise me you will not you will not be a mumu. In every battle of life, stand up and fight for yourself. And the angels will be there to protect you and fight for you. You will not lose any battle. Can we all stand up? I want you to take five minutes and say to God, don't let me forget the companion, the company you have given me. An angel that will walk with me and fight with me and wrestle with me and wrestle with every enemy of mine. With that angel, I shall lose no battle in every battle I fight. Can we all pray? Can we all stand up? Okay? Talk to God. Say to God, don't let me forget who I am. In Jesus' name. Men and brethren, I want to interpret to you what the Bible says to us. It says that there will be angels that shall minister for, not to us, who we'll fight on our behalf. And right where you are, that angel is ready to fight and to win every battle you've been involved in. From this night onward, you are no longer a coward. And this night, God has spoken to me that there are 10 people who don't even know the meaning of an angel. They don't know what an angel can do. They don't know how powerful an angel is. And Father, I am going to ask that these 10 people, let them have an encounter with your living spirit. Father, let them know what you can do. Father, build their courage this night. They will no longer be wobblers, but they shall be great men. These ten people, whatever they are, grant them revelational knowledge of who an angel is and what the angel can do. In every battle an angel had fought, he never lost any battle. Father, move from person to person, from family to family. Reveal yourself to each one of them, those ten people. 
And Father, bless them with courage, with creativity and imagination, with resourcefulness. In every battle they will fight here and now, and hereafter, they shall win. That will show to each of them who you are. Somebody help. What you can do. Let the battle start. Let the battle start. Father, let them know the, the power you carry. And they shall be afraid no more. They will fight like soldiers. They will win like soldiers. They will be great forever. Father, arise. Let them sleep only for two minutes. And in that two minutes, let them know who you are and what you can do. That they may fear no more. That they may panic no more. Father, let the miracle start. Show them who you are. Bow, power of God. In the name of Jesus. That's about four. How many? That's number five. Five. Yes, sir. Go on. That's number six. Six. Go on. Father, there are many four more. Many three, sir. Three more. Any name, any power trying to limit your power now shall be broken. Shall be broken. Shall be broken. Shall be broken. That's number nine. That's number ten. That's number eleven. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord mercies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. I have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies are compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness.
And in every battle they will fight beginning tonight. They shall be more than conquerors. Father, Father, there is no demon that shall defeat your children. In every battle of life, they shall be more than conquerors. Father, let the match begin. And let the miracle start. I declare your children more than conquerors. Bless them. Honor them. And make them victorious in every battle they fight. Father, no demon born of any pit of hell that shall defeat them. As they go from here, I declare them more than conquerors. It shall be so. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Raise your hand and declare and decree and say in every battle I fight against Satan I shall be more than a conqueror. This shall last all the days of my life. Father, thank you for a great day like this. Let your blessing start. Let it continue. Let it be there forever. Thank you, my God and my Father, for I ask in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a resounding Pentecostal clap of faith. Somebody say, in every battle I shall fight against Satan, I shall be more than a conqueror. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I thought we could have the elders meeting. Let's have it on 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 Thursday. No. On Thursday by 5 p.m. It will last only for 10 minutes and we shall be dismissed. Chairman, for the night, come and dismiss us. And please, if you have not given your offering, give your offering. But let's give the Lord a good clap offering. Uh, tomorrow. Is that too close? Tomorrow. We are going to have elders uh, meeting. Elders meeting. To, we are going to start this paper. No, we are going to start magazine publication we will decide who and who will be in charge at that meeting. We also want to discuss how to improve our program and dream. It shall be beneficial to everybody. And when we start, we will not stop because we shall make sure everyone succeeds as a successful person. Don't discount yourself. You owe me success. And you must succeed. God bless you.
Praise the Lord. Please, you will put your second offering before you go. But let's take this prayer. Immediately after the prayer, you drop it and you can go. Father, we thank you tonight for the ministration of God's servant over 